am EJ Hart. I'm going to do the Swirled Rag Rug Part 2. So I'm going to skip that next color, the red one, and I'm going to go into the next one, which is beige. Pick up the beige loop. And then it's going to be two single crochet in the first stitch. One. Two. And then one single crochet in the next stitch. Two single crochet in the next stitch. One single crochet in the next stitch. Two single crochet in the next stitch. One single crochet in the next stitch. Two single crochet into the next. One single crochet into the next stitch. I'm going to pull that loop up so it won't come out and I'm going to go into the red and it's going to be two single crochet in the first, one single crochet in the next two stitches, then I'm going to repeat all around in the next 12 stitches. So there's two and one in the first, one, two, single crochet. The next stitch gets one single crochet. And the next stitch gets one single crochet. And now I'm going to put two single crochet and one stitch. So there's one and two. The next stitch gets one single crochet. The next stitch gets one single crochet. The next stitch gets two single crochet, two and one. The next stitch gets one single crochet. The next stitch gets one single crochet. The next stitch gets two single crochet, a two and one. The next stitch gets one single crochet. And the next stitch gets one single crochet. I'm going to skip the next color, the beige color, and go into the red. And I'm going to do exactly 
the same thing as I did with the last red color. So it's going to be two single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet in the next two stitches, and then you'll repeat that in all 12 stitches. So the next stitch will be one single crochet. The next stitch will be one single crochet. The next stitch will be two single crochet. There's one, two, two in the same stitch. The next stitch is going to be one single crochet. The next stitch will be one single crochet. The next stitch will be two single crochet. There's one and two, two in the same stitch. The next stitch will be one single crochet. The next stitch will be one single crochet. And the next stitch will be two single crochet. There's one and two, two in one stitch. The next stitch is one single crochet and the next stitch will be one single crochet. Okay, I'm just gonna pull on that loop so it won't come out. I'm going to skip the next color, the beige color. I'm going to grab another ball of red yarn and I'm going to make a slip knot. I'm going to single crochet onto the next stitch. I'm going to make another single crochet into that exact same stitch. As I'm crocheting, I like to put it down on the table and lay it flat to make sure that it is, you know, going flat and it's not curling up or getting wavy. So I'm trying to put one more single crochet into that same stitch. The next stitch is one single crochet and the next three stitches. There's one, two, three. Then two single crochet in the same stitch in the next stitch. So there's one, two in the same stitch. I'm going to keep repeating the one single crochet next three stitches and then the two single crochet in one stitch. And I'll repeat it all the way until I get over there to where the hand is at. I'll start on the next section in the next video. Consider subscribing to Hook and Loops. Just click the button and click subscribe. And thank you for watching.